Hi YouTube family. How's you all stay going? Mine is going fine. I'm tired. I'm going to have house guests starting tomorrow and toward uh, maybe for two weeks. So I've been doing some extra heavy duty clean cleaning. And let me show y'all something that works really, really well on glass. I have a big glass dining room table. And I use this. This can be used on a lot of surfaces. I cleaned my table. First I dusted it good. Get the dust off. Then I cleaned it with this. It's wet white for glass. And it didn't streak at all. So I got this from Dollar Tree. And it works well. It's 30 things in here. And they're nice size wipes. Okay. Anyway, today I'll be cooking a T-bone steak. I just got in from Walmart and I'm so tired. And usually when I shop and come in and got to cook, I don't feel like cooking. But I'm going to cook this steak in my air fryer right quick. So I'll be showing y'all how I season it and how it turns out. And Walter's going to have potatoes with his. And I'm going to have a nice salad. Okay. Stay tuned. Okay, this is the steak I'll be fixing for me. And then Walter, he's going to fix his later. Okay, y'all. I just rinsed my steak off. Patted it dry on both sides. And I'm going to put a little mustard on it. It's like I've been seasoning everything else. And I'm going to put my seasonings on it. I'm using black pepper. I love black pepper. Well, any kind of pepper. I'm using Old Bay. I'm so hungry. I'm using the kosher salt. It's a little. It's good. And this. This here stuff, my daughter informed me that it's called tahine. I've been calling it Tajin. It's tahine. Spanish. My Spanish sub, sub, uh, subbies out there, y'all should have corrected me. I wouldn't mind. Okay. I'm going to rub it good and do the other side. But I'm going to put it in here in my fry basket. Squirt some more mustard a little bit. Season it. Tahine. Got a good flavor to it. My daughter will be here tomorrow and she's going to bring me the other flavor of tahine. Um, this is the classical seasoning. She's going to bring me the one that has the yellow cap. It's another flavor. I think it's real spicy. Because I can't find it here. And a little salt. Rub it. Okay, I'll be back. I'm going to set it for... Well, I'm going to set it for, I'm let it cook for maybe eight minutes on this side, and then I'm going to check it. Let me wash this mess off my hands. Did they go off? No. What's this on? I'm not saying low battery. I'll be doing a second. Okay, y'all. My steak has cooked for about 19 minutes. And at first it was still kind of rare, and I don't like it rare at all. I like it medium well. Okay, let's see if it's like I like it. Can y'all even see the steak? Let me cut this part. Yes. Let me cut close to here. I don't want no bloody meat, y'all. I want my steak to still be saying moo. 
That's right, I was supposed to let it rest, right? Well, I have never done that. Okay. I'm going to put, I found a whole 30 compliant steak sauce. It doesn't have all that stuff in it that I ain't supposed to have. It's Louisiana Supreme. Sometimes they have this at Dollar Tree. I made my own salad dressing. I put that uh, jerk seasoning in it. I put um, balsamic vinegar. I got, what did I put in here? The pineapple. Here's my salad. See, it look good, don't it? Well, this sauce tastes so good. And it's Whole30 compliant. It don't look so hot, but it tastes good. So that's what counts. So I got bell pepper, cucumbers, red onions, uh, little carrot, shredded carrots and all kind of different uh, lettuces in my salad. So let's taste this steak. Got two forks. Okay. Good, y'all. Tender. Good. Okay. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave a nice comment. And subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay. Here's my food. Bye.